I'm going to share something personal with you today. I'm going to let you into my heart. I just ask you to allow me to be vulnerable without feeling the need to fix me. Okay. So I'm very, I have a lot of belief in myself when it comes to my own journey. So most of my life, I endured emotional neglect and psychological abuse. And if you're in the same boat, then you probably know this, but I was never really in a position to share things that made me happy or to share how well my business is doing or whatever. Even with friends, when, you, when you're psychologically abused, you can sense people's jealousy of you. You can sense that they don't celebrate you. So what ends up happening is you end up silencing yourself when it comes to your own dreams and your own victories and stuff like that. So that's been my life. And yesterday, my partner, Dan, whom I love, he, he gave me a compliment. And a lot of you have given me compliments through the years. And I want to receive them. Like, I really do. Like, I, when they happen, I'm like, ha! Ah! Like, I open up my heart and I re try to receive them. But most of the time, I don't know how to receive them. It's almost like I'm on a different radio station. And I'm like, I want that. I just don't know how. I don't know how to receive that. I, I'm I'm actively trying to receive it, but I, I'm on a different radio station. And that's because it's a product of all the abuse and me kind of walking on eggshells around people a lot of my life. I used to even have to breathe very quietly and things like that. But But mainly because I was never in a position to share what makes me happy or to even get vulnerable because people would think that there's something wrong with that or they would make me feel bad for feeling bad or for feeling sad. So I was never really listened to and seen for who I am, even though I see who I am. I know how special I am. It's just that when it comes to relationships and people throwing me compliments, I want to receive them. I just don't know how. But yesterday I had an epiphany and I realized, my God, Dan is giving me a compliment, which is the universe trying to give me love. And so many of you have given me compliments even in the last few weeks. <laughs> and I don't know how to receive it. And I realized so many of you send me love. So in that moment, I realized I'm like a deflated balloon. And life has beaten the shit out of me to the point where it's easier for me not to sometimes feel um, than to feel get excited or be happy and then someone knocks me or if I'm happy for a second something bad will happen to me and I think a lot of us have that right we're afraid to celebrate something good that's happened to us or to get good news because bad news comes after that or you're excited and then you have an injury or you <laughs> you know you share something good that's happened to you and you can feel the jealousy in the room so you eventually just go I'm not going to share anything anymore it's not that I don't feel, I feel a lot. It's just that I, I'm i kind of like numb when it comes to talking about myself, if that makes sense. But yesterday I realized I was like a deflated balloon. And I realized, my God, it's easier to be this way than to get disappointed or to be happy and then something bad happens to me. So I I slept on that. And this morning I woke up and I started doing these exercises with my mouth. I just felt called, not with my nose, with my mouth. And I started going. <sighs> and as I'm doing this, I'm thinking of all of you who have sent me compliments and love. And I'm trying to inflate myself like a balloon again. And I really feel that, you know, it's like you were giving me a boost and now I'm, remember, nothing is ever lost. So if someone has given you a compliment five years ago, it's still available to download, okay? Because that person has uploaded it into your mind or into your energy. So you can always download it later. And I decided this morning to download it right away. You know, you know what I mean by download? You're just kind of finally accepting or trying to work with what's been given to you before. So that's what I did this morning. I just kept going <sighs> and imagining that as I'm breathing and taking it in, you are, you are giving me a boost because I'm, I love boosting you 
And I love boosting me privately, but I don't know how to let other people boost me. So that's my message for you today is you can always work with your breath. You just have to use your imagination, okay? You just have to imagine all the people who love you because for me, when people give me compliments, I'm like, I don't know if I wanna receive that because that person might come with an agenda or I don't know if that person's talked bad about me before. I don't know if they're gonna talk bad about me before. So my partner, Dan, nailed it yesterday. He said, it's a protection mechanism and he's right. It is, it's a, a form of protecting myself but I don't want to do that anymore. I'm able to allow the positive when you send it to me. And if you send me negative at some point, I'm not going to hold it against you. I just won't accept it, but I will accept the positives. So try this, you know, try to breathe in and inflate yourself like a balloon, blow yourself back up because there's a lot of love around you and you just have to receive and accept it. I love you.